um, runs Sonar Festival, which is part of the reason why he can't be here because he has his own festival um, to, to oversee. Um, but yes, yeah, so so what's what's your relationship like, and how? Do he had a mood board, and um, and he had also a script, but. Um, once we start with the decoupage of the script, he after two hours of, of a meeting, he just like said, eh, "Sorry guys, but I re I just realized that that's what I don't want to shoot. So I just re I just write the script because I need it for to get fundings, but I don't <laughs> I don't want to shoot anything of that." So, so he takes it, tears it up, throws it away. Yeah. So yeah. So, so basically, so, so, with, so you've got no script. There's yeah. no money at this point. Yeah. You've had one week and then a year off. Yeah. <laughs> no, but then, then what? Mm, then we get the money, and we after after one week. A of drink. <laughs> and after one week of shooting, we well actually we we knew what more or less we wanted in terms of like um, I think what what Sergio wants is just to create a an imaginary or a wall, and and he just need the tools to play. So basically, we. In just on the prep, we just like decided which were the tools. Yeah. In terms of like uh, basically art direction and and textures and colors and things like this. Yeah. And what did you shoot on? Speaking of tools. We shoot on digital and Alexa mm -hmm. and with a uh, Zeiss lens. Okay. And and where did you shoot? What's the location? Um, well. This is in Spain, and it's in like six hours away from Barcelona. And um, basically, the whole idea of shooting there it was because he finds he found this place, and he thought this is a good place to make a film. And what basically what what we did it's, it was like um, I mean he wanted all the actors to be there the whole time, and he wanted like everyone to who was involved in the film to be there the whole time. So basically we can change the script and decide where we want to shoot every day and and the only thing we were like taking care about is like um, the sun I mean the whole movie is shot on on shadow or without sun and in Spain that's quite difficult so that was the only thing that was uh, on the schedule that was really that we were following like working every day and today sunny so we have to shoot interiors so. yeah. This cloudy and I'm getting the idea that Sergio enjoys a challenge. <laughs> um, We're shooting in Spain, but we don't want the sunny days. Yeah. Well, I, actually, he doesn't care about that. No. If it was sunny, it was sunny. But um, he likes to have fun, and that's all. I think it's like not. It was not a challenge. I mean, if if suddenly it was sunny, for him was not a problem. It was just for me. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So I was going to ask you next, actually, about the atmosphere on set. I mean, it's interesting to me that Sergio runs a music festival, mm -hmm. and yet there's, I mean, and there's, I mean, the soundscape. And you said to me at the beginning, the sound is so important. Um, but there isn't a great deal of, of music, I suppose you'd say, and also everyone's silent. I mean, how, what was that like shooting in that kind of, in that unusual way, or with that unusual kind of soundscape on and off set? Well, basically, the idea of the telepathic words it comes from his previous film uh, as well, and and basically he doesn't like to work with standard actors. He likes to work with faces, and and basically all these guys were really bad actors. So <laughs> for him it was easy just to, and we have no script, so for him it was easy just to just f make faces and shoot like a shot and reverse shot, and then. He can do whatever he wants on editing, and also because he comes from, he's a composer and he comes from the electronic music world, yeah. and he enjoys a lot like composing in studio, and so for him doing a film is more or less the same. No, he likes to sit down on the editing and create the whole atmosphere and the whole thing there. Yeah, I did feel conscious then saying there was no music because there there is a certain form of music throughout the entire. Mm -hmm film, but it's just not conventional score, I suppose you'd say. Um, great. And on the sunny days, were you watching back over rushes and developing ideas? And mm, Basically, we were trying to hide from the sun because we had to shoot, so we were trying to... I mean, we, we knew all the places that were... I mean, in winter, the sun is not so high, so there were... And this is a valley, so 
we had many hours with shadows or some places with shadows so basically we were looking for these places and shooting interiors as well mm -hmm. um, tell us a bit also about I mean there's there's visual trickery going on on screen you know you've got some um, visual effects how did you deal with that as the director of photography when do they I mean I assume that's all done in post no okay. well they basically are all for real I mean yeah we he just, actually disappeared well <laughs> No, but this one is quite easy to do it, I think. No, this one is, I mean, it was just like, a, but all the moving objects and all this stuff, it was just like with cables <laughs> and, and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And uh, what about the La Distancia, that, um, the ball at the end? Yeah. How did you do that? Can you not tell us? <laughs> well, this is... You tell us, then you have to kill us. <laughs> uh, what, what do you mean, how we did, how we did that? Well, it's not a visual effect. Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that must have been done in post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking, how on earth would that be done in real? <laughs> <laughs> we had thousands of people walking through a ball. Um, <laughs> okay, and what are you working on now? Are you going to uh, do another film with Sergio? Well, he's. I let's see. I mean, he just finished Sonar, and I think he was very busy. Yeah. And um, I can literally he's, imagine. He wants to shoot. Well, we shot a short film recently that it was like the um, introducing of the festival and and he wants to do um, like a big, big film like ben or something like this. <laughs> but I'm not sure how and when. And yeah. Um, what was the budget for this film? No idea. I have no idea. <laughs> but it was really, really tiny. Yeah. I'm sure, I suppose. Yeah. How many cameras did you shoot with most of the time? Only one, only one. Only one? Yeah. Oh, I see you. Yeah. Any other questions from the audience? Yes, in the middle. All right. Uh, I would like to know uh, how did you work the the, the, the light and in fact of the, the character? I mean, you you had like no no previous script, so you had to, to work uh, to provide that. So I would like to know how did you manage to to work? Like, did you had like freedom at all to work, or Sergi was like um, visual, you know, to to realize your ideas. Or was Sergio always telling you what to do? Is, it, is that your question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think I think that uh, the the crew was really small, and I think we were all like involved in all the ideas. I mean, in it it was not. I mean, we are we were all like. I think there are a lot of ideas here that comes from many people, no, not just Sergio or me or. So I think it's it's like a crew thing, no, that we are all involved in that process. Yeah, sure. And speaking of crew, actually, um, one of your colleagues is here, yes? Yeah. Frick? Frick. We... He was the gaffer oh. and the grip in the film. <laughs> Sorry. He's now disappeared on this seat. Yes, thank you for being here as well. Uh, how many times have you seen it on the big screen? This is the second one. Ah, okay. How has it changed? I mean, what, what's it like seeing it on the big screen? Well, it, it, it's... I think there's a lot of details and texture and the sound I think is very important that yeah. from seeing from the monitor. Yeah. And it was really nice. Yeah. That must be a strange experience really to when did you finish filming? Um February two thousand thirteen. Yeah. So it must be a strange experience to for you as a cinematographer to put all that work into something that then goes somewhere else and see it again so I mean over a year after the fact. What, are you, are you, what's it like looking at it through new eyes or fresh eyes? Well, I, I don't know, I'm used to it or um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I feel it's, I don't know, it's normal, it's common. Yeah. No? It's, yeah. uh, it's not a difficult thing because you're watching it. You have, you have also the process of color correcting, yeah. so I mean, you are always involved with the film. I mean, it's not like just you just finish shooting and. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. You you are always in touch. And... Yeah. Great. Any other questions? Yes, I thought it was a hand. The lady in the blue shirt, I think. Hi. Hello. So it was. It's that's the that's the end. They were supposed to steal the distance, right? This is gonna be going on. Okay. <laughs> are you asking about a sequel? <laughs> <laughs> the distance you know. too. Yeah. Um... Remember, there was no script. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, basically it was on the trip, so... No, but it's funny because 
that was something that we were discussing with Sergio during the, especially during the editing, that what happens with the distance, no? And actually, we didn't care about it. So <laughs> we were like, who cares, no? And, and in, in two festivals, this is the first time anyone has asking for the distance. So I think it's it's not important. <laughs> and everyone and everyone get it, no? I think it's quite it's quite good that no one is asking about it. I saw another hand in front. Yes, because it's, yeah. yeah, I wanted to ask about your opinion on uh, the difference between an individual creation of, of a film. You know, there's a script, a guy who makes a script, then the director, then the other guys. But how do you find the experience of creating art collectively, as you are saying, you, you did this film? Well, I think it's up. I know, depending on the characters, no, as well. But in this case, it was really funny to shoot this film. I don't think there's gonna be another one like this, probably. I'd say, I'd say definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's very unique. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of like, uh, but it's not because of the way we shoot it. It was because of the people we were there. I mean, it's says he's really easygoing and he doesn't care about if he has money or no money or. He just do it for fun, so it's this is a basically difference, no? Any other question? Yes. Going back to the distance, when you were shooting it, did you did you have any idea of what the what it would look like at the end? Did you just think it was going to be some big shiny thing? Or what did you think it was going to be? Yeah, we we, we had an idea, and it com it changed a bit during that process. But the first idea was like. Um, a big sculpture of Jeff Koons, like something really bright, and the, actually in the mood world was was a, a big heart, like like a um, Christmas thing, you know, in the tree, in the Christmas tree or something like this, and it changed into into that. Yeah. Any more? Where, where's the film going next? Where will it be seen next? Do you know? Sorry. Where Where will the film go next? Is it doing more festivals? Uh, um, I think it's well in I, the the big screening is in in sieges in September. Mm -hmm. It's in the official competition, and then I have no idea where it's going. And it doesn't have a theatrical release yet. Not yet. I think they're waiting for for sieges. Yeah. That it's kind of a big festival in Spain, and and then let's see what happens. Sure. Any more? Is there anything else that you wanted to divulge about the film? Anything we should know? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, Mark, thank you very much for being thank here you. today.